Good morning everybody, it is quite early again, it's about quarter past six. I'm just getting up as I think I mentioned in yesterday's while well, to do a bit of help with the golf club setting up for a tournament. I'm almost there, I'm just walking, I've got a little bit of quick something to have in this shaker. And I think we're raking bunkers. Yeah! doing this morning we've got to rake all the bunkers on the golf course just on that one about to get into here on the little bunker rake That bit of work is now over, it's about 8am, time for Bricky, and of course I'll change back to the main camera. Right, I've just been going over some editing from yesterday, sorting out that 4k vlog. I'm really not sure what to do, I'm just having a couple cups of coffee and breakfast, and then um, I don't know, I am. I feel like I've overdone it a bit from work this week. I do have more to do, I do need to go do some boards get these shirts to the people and then of course hopefully get in the water right I'm just back at the sheds now I'm all I've got to do is glue up a couple boards pick some of this printing gear up that I have in this room and basically get out of here because I don't want to spend all weekend working um, I know there's been a lot of work 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 on these vlogs lately but that's what happens when you're self-employed and that's what happens when you have a downtime through winter is that you tend to <laughs> probably slack off, off a bit and don't get a lot of the stuff done but we're on I feel like this sort of downward slope of this hump and this you know I love being self-employed and I love doing the work because it, it is it's fantastic and making the boards to me is still seven years later is still an absolute rush for me it's amazing creating a product that people want you know you make it with your bare hands and you create something and it's still a great feeling so that's what we're here for we're just going to throw a couple boards together and get out of here <laughs> Right, I'm back home again I've just been shopping up some of the images I shot yesterday for the club as you can tell they did come out pretty good the course is in great nick at the moment yes I do like golf courses I grew up playing golf for those of you who don't know I actually used to play rep golf for North Harbour as a junior Green, I was a greenkeeper there for a long, long, long time. So golf was still sort of a part of my life and showing them off because they're really a nice natural-ish, that's probably debatable whether they're natural or not, um, part of the landscape really. Right, so today's vlog hasn't been too interesting. I've been having a bit of a rest day to be honest and I've got to head out shortly. But what I'm gonna do, I've been asked a few times about what camera stuff I use. So what I'm gonna do right now is give you a little bit of a run through of all the camera equipment I use. Okay, so I did just get the new Galaxy S6, which has got a big case on it, so that will take a little bit of the vlogging duties. While the audio doesn't seem to be that good, it does still shoot good quality video. Um, obviously GoPro 3 Black, I would like to upgrade that. Shortly, um, obviously when it comes to cases, if you're dealing with water, you need one of these on them because they sink like a flippin' rock. And I do see a lot of people still using them in the water without the floaty backpack, so that is a, a basically an essential for water use. Um, and of course the Phantom 3 Professional. Now, I do shoot a lot of aerial stuff, so that is, well, depending on your type and your preference, but that shoots 4K and all the good stuff, um, 1080 at 50 frames, all the sort of things you need. Um, excellent controls through the remote. You mount the phone onto it here, and it's controlled through DJI's Go app so that is an absolute essential um, quite a bit of work getting this guy around obviously because it does take up a, a lot of room in a backpack and this video camera which I shoot practically everything on I don't like the idea of using a DSLR for what I do because the focus on these video cameras is really good the zoom's really good the functions are really good basically 
as far as I'm concerned, everything for this, for moving targets and things like that, is superior really to say a DSLR. I will probably always stick with with a camcorder body just for what I have just mentioned. Great lens. Um, you can see it has this optical steady shot. You can see the lens floating around in there, so it's very easy to keep still. Very easy for people to use. Very easy for everything really and very robust i've had this for about a year now and haven't really had any issues with it so that's a wrap for today's vlog like i said it hasn't been too interesting because i've just really been completely exhausted i'm heading out now um to jen's 30th and then tomorrow it looks like there's a little bit of a swell coming up so i've got a bit of work to do in the morning may go do a very early shoot um on the golf course again in the morning and then gonna go find a wave or two in the afternoon maybe surf maybe skim i'm not too sure yet but i'm sam price i will see you at the beach